Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the biggest agricultural platform in Namibia known as Nduna Wengombe, as you can see back there. <laughs> so for those who haven't yet subscribed, I'm still wondering why you haven't subscribed. Hit the subscription button, turn on the bell notification and he'll watch the videos, go through my thumb, go through my my library and watch, learn a thing or two about farming, eh? Nduna Wengombe. So today, on the 9th of May, 2022, uh, I want to talk about another cattle breed. I know we spoke about the Red Pole cattle breed, which is also farmed in South Africa. I'm not sure if you can find it in Namibia, but in South Africa is where you'll get it. Today I want to talk about the beef shorthorn cattle. There are two. There's the beef shorthorn and then there's the uh, milk shorthorn, which is also milked in the UK and other parts. But I, I read somewhere that when it comes to milking ability, they can't outperform the Holsteins. So probably this is why they are not really that widely popular. So this video is number 172. So this is number 172, video number 172. And we have thus far got 955 subscribers. I just want to say thank you very much to the men and women that subscribe to the channel. And not just subscribe, but actually watch the videos. Um, and, 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 and take time to comment, you know, whether it's a negative comment, a positive comment, we'll take it on the chin and, we'll, and I'll work towards improving it. You know, as I said, I, I started this journey in 2014. It's been, what, eight years on YouTube. And um, we are there. We, we, we're not yet at the top of the summit, but we're reaching at least um, a, a, a mile from the ground where we started. At the bottom, we are a bit higher than what we were yesterday. So thank you very much to the ladies and gentlemen that have been hitting that subscription button, watching the videos, liking, commenting, and sharing my videos, getting them out there to the bigger agricultural family out there in the world, whether it's in South Africa, Namibia, the US, Europe, and even in Asia. I had some comments coming through from guys in Asia and in the greater Africa too. I've had farmers from Uganda, Kenya, and also uh, one from uh, Ethiopia, from a region of Burana who came through and asked me some questions and asked me to do some videos. So thank you very much to those people. But without any wasting time, as you guys know, let's get into the video. As you guys know, I'm never writing so I got my trusted notebook with my unflattering handwriting. Let's get into the beef shorthorn cattle. As I said, there too, there's the dairy, there's the beef. So let's get into this video. Beef shorthorn, let's just set that proper. Uh, beef shorthorn cattle are part of, of beef production in South, in South Africa and developed in the... Developed from the Tees Waters and Durham cattle, North East England, as seen on the as seen on the on the brother Charles and Robert calling, used used line breeding techn techniques to improve their herd, and by 1910, one of their bulls, called Comet, was was the first ever bull to be sold for a uh, for a thousand a thousand guineas. In testimony to its excellent to its ex to its excellence, the bull later became a legend in cattle breeding. In cattle breeding, because of its superior prodigy, short on cattle produced, the name of the breed refers to short to the short size of the cattle horns. So it gets its name from its horn size. Production in South Africa. Thomas Tor Torlip. Thomas Torlip imported the first shorthorn into South Africa in 1861, and the Shorthorn Cattle Breed Society was established in, 19, in 1912. Attributes. The shorthorn is a, is a medium-sized breed with red, ronin, which is a mixture of red and white, and sometimes a white coat. The size of the cattle are dependent on the production environment, and as this is a dual, as this is a dual breed, the cattle may be used for milk or for beef production. So it's another dual-purpose breed. The average size of the average size of a cow in South Africa is around 500, whereas that of a bull is about 950 kilograms. The breed is well the breed is well known for its high fertility, calving ease, milk production, dorsal, and its mothering abilities. The short tone has been used in develop in the development of 52 breeds around the world. Those in South Africa is the Bosmara the Santa Gertrudis, and the Beef Master. Production region. The breed, the breed, because of its availability, 
is produced throughout South Africa. So it has a bigger number in South Africa. I don't know if in Namibia it's says scarce. So I don't think in Namibia you find short horn cattle. You find prodigies of the short horn. As I said, the Bosmara, the Beefmaster, the Santa Gertrudes, the use. The breed may be used on its own in closed herds, but also in crossbreeding programs to especially enhance the qualities of indigenous breeds. Both bulls and cows are used to par are used uh, both breeds and cows are said to pass on the short horn ability to grow quickly and easily. The short horn cows are able to produce quality winners with average 250 day winning weight of about 200, 203 and 205 for bull and, he and heifers, re cows respectively. Yelling weight is about 488 kilograms. Average daily gain is about 1.5 kilograms. Disadvantage. Cows born with Sometimes the cows are born with uh, deformed legs and, um, and, and, abnormal, and abnormal hernias, skull deformation, and uh, fused joints. So some of those are some of the, 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 the disadvantages. And if you're going to use them for milking production, they might not be able to out-produce uh, milk of a Holstein or an Irish here. So those are the, the British, the English shorthorn breed of cattle. Shorthorn cattle of England, um, it was from Tees Waters District and Durham country in northern England. So it's another, it's an English breed just like the Red Pole. So those are my two cents on the beef shorthorn. As I said, there are two. There's the beef shorthorn and there's the dairy shorthorn. We spoke about the beef shorthorn today. But the beef one is also used for dual purpose. Just like your cementals, your, your cementals and then... And, 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 your Sussex and so are many other breeds that are used for dual purpose meat and milk. So that is the English shot on. The cattle behind the development of the Santa Gertrudis, Beef Master, Postmara. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And uh, once again, thank you very much for the support, guys. We are not at, on top of the summit, but we are higher than where we started eight years ago. So, so thank you very much for the support you guys have been giving me, the comments, um, the sharing of the video. Some of you trying to get my personal number to call me up just to hear how things are going. That's good. I'm a bit under the weather, but you know, as they say in showbiz, the show must go on. So with that said, guys, have yourself a good night. Bye for now.